Hi and let us uh, start this video lecture by taking an example in continuation with the previous uh, video on the ratio test. Let's look at this series which is given to you x plus 2 square x square by 2 factorial plus 3 cube x cube by 3 factorial plus 4 to power 4 x to power 4 by 4 factorial and it goes on up to infinity let us find out un in this case un in this case would be n to power n into x to power n divided by n factorial and the value of un plus 1 would nothing be but n plus 1 to power n plus 1 into x to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial. Now let us find out the uh, convergence or divergence of this series as per D. R. Lambert's ratio test. So we will be finding out this ratio that is un by un plus 1. So plugging in the values you would get into so you will get the reciprocal over here divided by n plus 1 n plus 1 into x to power n plus 1 now if you manipulate it a little bit so let us see what do we get I will get n plus 1 into n factorial divided by n plus 1 to power n into n plus 1 into x to power n into x now out of these n factorial n factorial be cancelled off n plus 1 n plus 1 x to power n x to power n so these values they are cancelled what we are left with is n to power n by n plus 1 to power n into 1 by x if I bring this in the denominator you would get 1 by 1 plus 1 by n to power n into 1 by x okay so this is the value of the ratio un by un plus 1 now if I take the limit for this ratio so you would get limit n to infinity 1 by 1 plus 1 by n to power n into 1 by x now this thing would give you 1 by e into 1 by x so the value that you are left with is 1 by e x now this is not a constant value this is a variable value okay now let if we move on to the next slide see you get the value as 1 by e x let us say this is lambda now we knew that if lambda is greater than 1 the series is convergent which means that if 1 by x e is greater than 1 the series would be convergent or I can say that x should be less than 1 by e so for this value your series would be convergent now the series is divergent if the ratio is less than 1 okay and this would come out to be 1 by x e less than 1 okay which gives you the value x greater than 1 by e so for this value your series would diverge okay now if x becomes equal to 1 by e at this point lambda becomes equal to 1 which implies that your test would fail so we need to check what happens when x becomes equal to 1 by e because now we cannot use d l Lambert's ratio test to determine 
whether the series is convergent or divergent because it is failing okay at these two points I know that it is convergent and divergent respectively but what happens at x1 equal to x is equal to 1 by e now let us put x is equal to 1 by e okay so what was un by un plus 1 equal to the value for this was 1 by 1 by n to power n into 1 by x isn't it so if I put x is equal to 1 by e over here I would get e upon 1 plus 1 by n to power n this is what I would get now you see the ratio of un by un plus 1 consists of a term of exponent so now I will apply logarithmic test and logarithmic test was I had to find the limit of this value log un by un plus 1 so let me find out the log for this value let's move on to another slide uh, un by un plus 1 which came about to be e to power 1 plus 1 by n to power n let me take log on both the sides so I will get log that is natural log is equal to natural log minus 1 plus 1 by n to power n basic log rule okay now this that is log exponent is nothing but 1 so log un by un plus 1 this becomes equal to 1 minus this n would come about to be here so this would become n into log 1 plus 1 by n so this is what you get now if you remember the log series let us expand this the expansion for this uh, let me write down the log series here as well log of 1 plus x is nothing but 1 I'm oh sorry x minus x square by 2 plus x square by 3 and so on so let me apply this rule over here so I would get 1 minus n into 1 by n minus 1 by 2 into n square plus 1 by 3 into n cube and so on this is what I would get let me multiply n with each term in the bracket so I would get 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 2n my plus 1 by 3n square and so on now let us open the bracket we would get 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2n minus 1 by 3n square and so on 1 and 1 gets cancelled so the value of this term that is log of un by un plus 1 this becomes 1 by 2n minus 1 by 3n square something to remember Okay.